What's up? What is up, everybody? How's everybody going? You're here with Kylie Pax, Australia's emotional eating coach, and I'm here to empower you to take control of your relationship with food, create a body, and a life that is more delicious than chocolate because you get to do it all, bam, on your terms. If you're joining me here live, throw me that emoji in the comments box. Let me know that you're here. Throw me some likes and some loves, and to all the replay watchers, sending you so much delicious chocolate coated love. You know how I do every day because it was so touch and go today that I was actually going to make it here, which is why I'm a few minutes late I am I am I'm a few minutes late and you know hand me the tardy slip I know I know right bad bad girl but but I have a very valid excuse can I just say um like I said so touch and go today it was about like two minutes two before I was about to go live boom lost internet connection gone no internet bye bye internet <sighs> flew off somebody else had it I don't know I didn't have it and I thought what's going on has the whole area got an outage how long is this going to be my mind went into a whirlwind of horror so uh, thank you so much to everyone who's dropping on live Julia Shelby Jess it's so great to have you here um yeah my mind immediately because I'm not a very positive minded person I'm not like, I'm um, a sad, sad, sorry state of affairs. I automatically go to the negative. And most of us are like that. I don't think I'm, like, unique in that way. Most of us go because it's more of a um, sort of genetic. It's the way we're designed. We're designed to watch out. Watch out for danger. Watch out for horrible things and so you can get away. Save your life, you know. Thankfully for us, we're not living in that age of pterodactyls and, you know, saber-toothed tigers anymore. But the instinctual reaction is still like, yee, something's gone wrong. I could freak out, right? I could freak out. So if you're just joining me live, Dana, how are you going, Michelle? It's so great to have you all here. I was saying... Um, that was like a good vibrato there. So I'm not a singer, so I don't even know. Was that the right term? Vibrato. <laughs> anyway, anyway, I just like two minutes before I was about to go live, lost my internet connection. Zzz, nothing. Fuzz on the screen. <laughs> you know, that static. And I'm like, oh, 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 what is this all about? Right? Because I've had a challenging week this week. Started with my self-created drama over the weekend. Started then. And I've just, just rolled over into the whole week. It's just like the spillover the spillover right so this is like a short side note you got to take control of these things early because otherwise you're going to deal with the spillover and it's really the longer you stay in that negative headspace the harder it is to drag yourself out so this has been my mission for the whole week it's like drag yourself out and two minutes before i was about to jump on live here no internet connection i'm like whoa seriously i'm like seriously what is going on the old kylie i just would have lost my i would have lost it I would have, right? And there was a mild panic, and I'm like, what, what, what's happening? So I called the internet company. Initial reaction was like, um, I need to Google their number. I don't know their number. No, no Google, can't Google anything. So I'm looking, I'm like, please let me have the number of my contacts, and I did, I did. So I called them, and they so graciously put me through to a department to help me, and the department was closed. Oh, don't you love it when that happens? The department, was closed but they didn't say that they just put me through so i sat there on the phone waiting waiting tapping my fingers trying to stay positive oh they'll answer any second now any second they'll answer it's gonna be fine it's gonna be fine they'll answer you know what happened eventually after thankfully it wasn't like a 45 minute wait or anything after uh, 11 minutes and 37 seconds because i looked oh yeah I'd, i took note 11 minutes 37 seconds they disconnected me mm -hmm. <laughs> beep Beep, beep. I'm like, oh, are you for real? Are you for real? So I thought, okay, here is where it gets good. Here's where it gets good. I thought, all right, clearly they're, they're useless. It's just going to help me, right? So I needed to step up my game, mine, right? I, I automatically looked outwards. I'm like, please, can they help me? What is going on? No, they clearly could not, clearly, right? I won't tell you who the company was. I won't, you know, so I want to get in too much trouble. But however, we may be switching ISPs. Side note, right? But I thought, okay, what am I going to do? So very thankfully, thankfully, uh, this thing flashed up on my screen and allowed me to purchase some data. So I did all that. It was good, right? But now I still have to deal with them. I still have to deal with that mess. And that, you know, hopefully they'll put me through to a department that is actually open and someone that can actually help me. But in the meantime, I was able to purchase some data, jump on, and here we are together. Why I wanted to share this with you is... Every single experience we have, we run through the perception, through the filters of our own perception. Every experience we have, every last one, we run through the filters 
of our perception. So like I said, old Kylie, I would have just lost my, I would have lost it. Seriously. I would, it would have been like drama of the century, you know, screaming, crying. I have something to do. I'm supposed to be on a live stream. Don't you know what you're doing? You know, don't you know who I am? Not good. Not a good look for anybody, right? Never a good look. Now, now, because I see, who was that going to serve? How was it? Certainly wasn't going to serve me. Wasn't going to get anybody else on my on. I wasn't going to get on anybody's good side, and uh, nobody was would have been on mine in that in that headspace. Now it's like, all right, if this is up to me, right? Have you heard that really old saying? If it's to be, it's up to me. You know, and it is true, like it is, right? So I thought, okay, well, I I have to do something here, and me coming at it from a place of panic and frenzy and oh, you know, oh, this is the biggest disaster of my life. You're only going, I was only going to see more panic, more drama, more biggest disaster of my life. And I tell you without a word of a lie how it would have rolled out. when you, Because it's early in the morning here. It's just after 8, 8 a.m. Do you think that how you start your day matters? Tell me, tell me. Have you ever had those days where it starts not so great, like mine was trying to today? Trying, but it won't get the better of me. It won't. I'm in too much of a good headspace. But... When those days start badly, like you get out of bed, you stub your toe, and then you you know you miss the bus, and, and then your, your handle breaks on your handbag, and your shoe falls off, and it's like, what? Seriously, what did I do to deserve this karma, right? Those days, they don't end well. The way your day starts, rolls, it becomes the theme. It just becomes the theme for that day, right? So if your day starts with drama, frenzy. If your alarm goes off in the morning and you're there, eh, hit the snooze button uh, 55 times, are you starting your day from a good headspace or a place of, oh, uh, wish this wasn't happening? How do you think it's going to affect the rest of the day and why do we care? Because it all affects your food choices. All of it. Do you think that uh, your food situation is isolated from you and the rest of your life? It's all one. It's all one. So the choices that you make, especially early on in the day, look, hear me, look, especially early on in the day, those choices affect everything. So me here with my fabulous, if you're just dropping on live, Ashley, how you going? Yeah, me with, I was, if you're just joining me here live, I was saying like my little internet drama this morning, the company, they just disconnected me from the internet. Apparently I've been, you know, in all fairness, I had gone over my, data usage whatever it was right whatever I don't care put whatever terms on it you like just give me back some internet it's all I care about so anyway I had you know exceeded my usage right so they had cut it off cut it off and it happened two minutes before my live stream two so I was like what's going on where's my internet I didn't know right and as I called the company for help in a panic and a frenzy, I'm like, gotta have my internet, oh, I gotta do a live stream, oh, what's going on? Call the company, the dude put me through to a department, these people will help you, no worries, man. Puts me through to the department, oh no, they were closed. Closed, there's nobody there. But I waited, they didn't tell me that. They didn't say anything like that. Oh, I'm gonna put you through to a department that's closed. No, they, you know, they left me with the positive. Oh, this is gonna be great, they'll help you, they put me through. Put me through that other department was closed. After 11 minutes and 37 seconds, when I waited on the phone, thinking, oh, they're going to answer any minute, any minute, they'll be able to perform a miracle and it will be great, right? 11 minutes, 37 seconds, I waited, and then, do, 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 they just get it, they just, they cut me off. So, that was useless. But why I say this to you is because I had to then step up my own game and realize, all right, if this is going to be solved, if I'm going to be chatting to you today, then... I need to do something. And me coming from a place of panic, drama, anger, right? Ooh, they, they should know what they're doing. And they, because this is what we do. This is what we do. When we have experiences like this, and I am pretty much kind of doing it right now, you generally don't go away and talk to people and go, I just had the coolest experience today. My internet got cut off and the dude put me through to a department that, that wasn't even open and I waited, you know, I wasted like 11 minutes, 37 seconds and they cut me off. So, you know, oh my gosh, it was so great. You know, what a cool thing. I learned how to X, Y, Z. No, we don't. We go away and we talk bad, right? We talk, you should see these people and, nah, 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 and I hate and I can't believe and how could they and why don't they? And you know, if they were any good, they would. And it just propels a situation that was already unpleasant to start with 
Now you've really stacked some momentum behind it. Now you're really mad. Now you're really angry at the whole thing. You know, I'm going to write to my local, you know, um, my local representative and government representative. And I'm going to do that. And like so much energy we put into the negative things in our life instead of turning around and going, gee, I mean, seriously, can you imagine the amount of energy and attention that we pay to all the things that are just not right and they should be better and they should do this and they should do that. The amount of energy, energy and attention that we give to those things, if we put 1% of that amount of energy and attention into the things that are good, the things that we want, the things that we love about ourselves and our bodies, just imagine the progress you could make in your life. Imagine. Imagine what would be possible if you channeled even 1% of that effort and energy towards things that you want instead of towards things that you don't want. This is my lesson for today. <laughs> so this is what I'm going to leave you with. Because, you know, I could have easily turned around and, you know, carried on and moaned all day. I would have previously, in my previous life, I would have now started making phone calls to people. Oh, you're not going to believe what happened to me today. Because it's all, you know, oh, look at me. Everybody pay attention to me. Look at the things that happened, the dramas that happened to me. But you don't need to play like that anymore. If you know that you are cool as you are, you have the ability to get through any challenges that come your way. Okay, sure. It meant I was a few minutes late for, for our chat today, for the live stream. Okay. Did disaster strike? Are we still here? Everything's fine. It is fine. But me focusing on that event for the whole rest of the day and getting so mad about it, what it will do and I, what that would do, and I, I say this to you, it's not a word of a lie, it would impact my food choices for the rest of the day because I would be so upset and in a frenzy in my head that the only way, you know, that we escape that kind of thing is escaping through food. And it's just not, it's not a good thing. I already have recently had so many terrible digestive issues. Like for any of you that suffer with like IBS and all that sort of thing, like it's just so, I don't really, this is like, They've told, I don't know, I went to see the person, I don't know, the fancy person. They gave it a fancy name and they said I had to go on that hideous, hideous elimination diet. And I've been fighting it now for weeks because I just, you know, us, like as emotional eaters, yo-yo dieters, it's like, don't even think about telling me that I can't have freedom of food choices because the second you tell me I can't eat something, the minute you tell me don't eat cake, I'm going to want to eat every cake in the universe. So I have not wanted to do this stupid elimination diet, but it's reached a point where I'm in that much discomfort that I have to. Like I have to. So I now need to approach that from a place of love and kindness for myself, right? Same thing with the internet story. Me carrying on about that all day to the point that it just sort of took up so much headspace that I just wanted to make poor food choices so that I could feel better about myself because I'd created this frenzy of negativity. It all affects everything. Everything affects everything else. When you come at yourself, your life, your food choices from a place of kindness instead of like mm, just an escape, a quick fix, you know, entertainment, something to do. It's completely different. You get a completely different result. So I just want to share this with you today and let me know if this is resonating with you. Throw it out there in the comments because I really want to hear what you think about this because we all have these experiences. Of course we do. I'm not, you know, this is not isolated. Like I'm the only one in the world who has the, the things with the internet and the this and the that. It's so common for us now. The challenges that we deal with are not like, um, here and thankfully right our dramas are not oh can I get clean water can I get something to eat our dramas are I have too much to eat you know my internet connection isn't good I mean the biggest drama in my life for like the last year was that I had poor internet connection can we all just take a reality check because I had to take a reality check it drove me mental for about a year because I felt like everybody in the world had fabulous internet connection not me my area is is, is not awesome not and it drove me insane for about a year. I mean, I'm talking, I spent hours and hours and hours and hours on you know, different parts of the world, different call centers. Why don't I have good internet connection? And it went on for months and months and there were tears flowing and the whole thing. Like my internet was so slow, so slow. And I felt in this day and age, this is so unacceptable. And eventually I just had to take a chill pill and go, well, you've got internet. Hello, wake up girl, you've got internet. Okay, sure, it's not lightning fast but you've got it and um it has been a little better recently you know i'm thankful for that i am but me creating dramas where it's not necessary is just not necessary creating drama where it is not necessary 
is simply not necessary. Why do it to yourself? As I said, it all affects your eating choices. It all affects your eating choices. So I want to put this out there to you today and share my little story with you. I have no idea what I was actually going to talk about before we jumped on the live stream today because the internet thing has, you know, it's become the theme, the theme of the day. But I tell you these stories because you'll remember these things like I said about um, the microwave story that I told you a couple of days ago. I've had private messages just flowing in, people going, oh my God, I'm so thankful that you shared that message. I'll never look at the microwave the same way again. I'm like, I know, I know. If you missed that one, that was epic. Um, today's Thursday. I reckon that was Tuesday's live stream. Scroll down the page and check that one. That was an awesome, awesome one. Because all these little things help us. Um, examples help, you know, it just helps. When you remember and you look at a microwave, you go, I remember what she said about that. And that's a really good one. I'm pretty sure that was Tuesday, so scroll down and check it out. But I just want to um, check in with you all. Thank you so much. Yeah, Dana says, I love your talk. Yeah, I used to knee jerk into cranky, crankiness. Yeah, I'm getting much better at dealing with things now because I was tired of being grumpy. I know. Right. Yeah, and you do. You reach that threshold where you're like, uh, uh, the only person that's remaining miserable here is me. And that becomes so painful that you just you just decide to make a make a positive change. Yeah, Lisa, I'm now mindful and able to oh able to control my ulcerative sort of clients. So yeah, honey, I, I oh ho, ho. my dad has that, so I so understand. And other health complexities. Yeah, life is good, not crazily stressed. I love it's so important. So so important. Yeah, my anxiety is called yes, oh yes, 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 yes. Super stressful people, um, you know, like I said, my dad, he suffers with the same thing. Also to collide, it's not fun. Whoo, that is not fun. That's not fun. And all of these things, like when you're a high stress person, like you know what I mean? I would create drama where there was no drama. If there was no drama, I'd create it. You know, and it's just was so unnecessary. So yeah, Zoe, good morning. How are you going, Ashley? It's so great to have you all here. Thank you, thank you. Hard to believe you've had a hard week. You're amazing. Dana, thank you, babe. Love you so, so much. But, but that's the thing, right? You see me every day. You see me here with the pizzazz and the zing, and it is awesome. It is. But I work at this. Like I don't just, I've said before, I don't just wake up in the morning and go zing. Hi, everything is fabulous for me. I don't have Bambi nuzzling my cheek when I wake up in the morning and, you know, birds fluttering around my head and butterflies, you know, delivering me buttered toast with no calories. No. My life is just like yours, exactly the same. And, you know, it's exactly the same but different. We all have... We all have the same story. It just, the chapters are written a little differently. But ultimately, what is that beautiful saying? I'm quite sure it's Ram, Ram Dass. We're all just walking each other home. God, we just spend so much time trying to compete and be better and bigger, better, brighter, faster than the next person, the next person. And am I winning? We're all just walking each other home. You know, there's no need to try and compete and be fearful that someone else is going to get ahead of you or you need to try harder or you need to be perfect because, you know, they look so perfect. We're all traveling the same journey. And when we come and approach it from that avenue, there's nothing to be frightened of. It's nothing to be frightened of. Yeah, I thank you so, so much. Yeah. So to everybody that's been here today, thank you so much. You guys are all so, so amazing. Um, yeah, if you're just dropping on, Rachel, how are you going? If you're just dropping on live, we are wrapping it up. So um, I'm not quite sure how long we've been here for. But um, I hope you are. I heard sniffles. So um, do go back. When we, when we stop in a second here, go back and watch the replay because this is um, it is another great example of what not to do what not to do and how it all impacts on our eating choices, which ultimately is what we're trying to, you know, get a grip on here. It's what we're trying to get a grip on. Yeah, Lisa says, yep, that was me. Yeah, I was quite, oh, creating stress. Yeah, I walk differently now with calm breath. You've been the one to help me. Oh, you've been the one to help me learn that. You're so amazing, honey. So amazing, Dana. Thank you. Yeah, thank you all so, so much. I really appreciate it. And if you've not, you know, reached out to me for any kind of assistance or help, please feel free to send me a private message. I'm more than happy to help you. you hear me say it all the time. 
and I just say it to fill up airspace, I'm more than happy to help you in any way that I can. And I will just remind you now, because like mental note, it's the last 24 hours to join me for the four-day personal power transformation lockdown that's happening here on the Gold Coast. It's actually happening next week. Submissions close tomorrow, tomorrow. So I have talked about this a lot over the last few days. If this is something that resonates with you, if you're thinking, yeah, I want my own power back for too long, I've given it away to other people, circumstances, situations, and it's all affected my eating. I feel cray cray around food. I can lose weight, but I can't keep it off. I'm the queen of the yo-yo dieting universe. Um, food stresses me out. I'm scared of food. I'm obsessed with calorie counting. I'm scared this is never going to happen for me and I'll be overweight for the rest of my life. If this sounds like you, send me a private message. You can check any of the other live streams because I talk about this more, but um, you know, ultimately just send me a PM. Send me a message and I'll send you all the details because it is happening next week. Tomorrow is the final day to submit um, to submit for it. So um, don't miss this opportunity. Gosh, don't miss this opportunity. These things don't, you know, this is not going to come around again. I don't know when I'll ever do another one of these. So please do, if you think, if you even think, sounds good, sounds interesting, sounds like something I might need, then send a PM. Then you can decide. Do you know what I mean? Like there's no, it doesn't, nothing to be frightened of, nothing to be afraid of. Everything that you want is available to you, but you do have to step up. You do have to believe that is possible and you have to take the next required action. So I am sending you so much love, so much love. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you so much to everybody who is sharing. Um, again, you know, you hear me say it every day. You hear me say it because when we share these live streams, so many of us, we think, oh, we feel really shameful about our relationship with food. And there's nothing to be frightened or ashamed of because we are actually all feeling the same. It's just nobody talks about it. Nobody talks about it. So the more we share the message, the more that when you empower yourself to step up and own your fabulous, you empower somebody else to do the same. And each time you do it, that is how we change the world. That's how global change happens. So I'm sending you all so much love. Thank you so, so much to everybody who's been here live, to all the replay watchers. Sending you so much chocolate-coated love because I will be joining you tomorrow for our end of week wrap up. End of week wrap up. Until then, remember. The only person who has the power to change your life is you. But you have to know that everything that happens to you, you are seeing through the filter of your own perception. Change your perception, change your reality. When you do that, that is when you've got what it takes. Sending you so much chocolate-coated love. I will catch you all tomorrow. Until then, bye. For now.